They left Colonel Gaddafi's signature all over their work in Zawiya. The centre of town and the rebellion against his rule was pulverised out of existence by his army's tanks, artillery and mortars. Buildings in the central square where the protesters first gathered to voice their desire for change is populated now by pro-Gaddafi supporters. But there's 200,000 people in Zawiya. We're not convinced this dozen actually come from the town itself. The gardens where the dead were buried have been dug up. They're trying to erase history in this place. But a Sky News team was there from the start. And this is what happened in Zawiya. can see the damage in the building still from where artillery rounds, mortar rounds and tank shells were fired into the buildings in the central square of Zawir. There has, however, been a huge clear-up operation. Perhaps the most remarkable thing is the complete raising to the ground of the mosque. This open piece of wasteland was a building where hundreds of people hid for safety while the fighting took place outside, and we'll probably never know how many people died here. I can't recall any Muslim country attempting to wipe a holy place from memory. We were taken to the main hospital where so many of the injured were treated and where so many died. Pictures of Gaddafi had just been taped to the wall. The doctors and nurses who worked during the rebellion have either gone or been told to be quiet. It's been cleaned up and supplied with drugs once again. How different to the days when Zawir was attacked. Faced with this evidence, the government's finally conceded that civilians died here. No, but what about the pictures that we have from Zawir? We have our own cameras there of children, men, women who are not combatants, who are in hospital, <coughs> their legs blown off and dying. We said, on the film. we said, we said from the very beginning that when you have a war in the streets, when armed militias occupy the center of your city and the streets and they fight you street to street, house to house, square to square, it's very possible that civilian casualties take place, people die. But you can't say that we are attacking civilians. While the fighting continues in the east, it's so easy to forget the rebellion that took place in the west. In this town, they'll never forget. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Zawiya.